Hey, this is Dirk and Ben, and we are back with Whiskey Rickhouse. Today we are going to celebrate Chocolate Day on July 7th. Yeah, so we have put together a little whiskey pairing along with these chocolates. Yeah, and what we're going to do today is take three different whiskeys, three different types of chocolate, do a little taste, a little drink, and then uh, let you know what we think. See what we know at the end. Yeah. So the three we have today, Dirk, if you want to go into those. Absolutely. So. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason to why I selected these three. I just wanted some distinctively different flavors to try with the different chocolates. So we've got a Templeton Rye, we have the Johnny Walker Green 15 year, and we have the Knob Creek Single Barrel. So we've got a bourbon, a rye, and a blended scotch whiskey for you. The chocolates we've selected, we've got milk chocolate, chocolate covered almonds, and dark chocolate. Well, Ben's completing his first round of tasting there. Let's see what he thinks. Oh. So we're going to taste each of the whiskeys with each of the chocolates. So this is going to take a little while. Bear with us. All right. Well, that was tasty here. And so what we started off with today was the Templeton Rye. So the first one that I tasted that with was, was the milk chocolate. The second one was the chocolate-covered almond. And the third one was our dark chocolate. When going through these, I have to say personally, the... Uh, almond is probably going to be my favorite one on here going through it. Granted, it had a little more crunch and texture to it. Then a nice dark chocolate flavor, followed up next by the dark chocolate. And the milk chocolate for me just got a little smooth through the uh, tasting on this one. But overall, it's a great pairing. If you have some there, I'd say go ahead and give those a shot as you go through them. Uh, again, Dirk said these are random uh, pickups for the three bottles there, just trying to actually do some different. We had a rye, a bourbon, kind of accent different flavors that we went through with it to taste different chocolates. Okay, let's well, do my my rye tasting across all three, and um, I think for me, you know, I'm going to preface this with I love chocolate covered almonds anyway, so I'm trying to uh, make sure I don't lean too hard on that that love affair with the, that particular candy. I liked the dark chocolate mm. that um, with the rye. The flavors really went well together. Nice smooth finish on it. I thought that the, the rye did a great job of finishing the chocolate flavor off, and mm -hmm. once I had both in my mouth, it was pretty seamless. So I really enjoyed that a lot. Interesting. I'm gonna come back here to my, my last piece here for the taste on it. So you're doing the Johnny Walker Green label right now, correct? That's correct. So let's finish up with the Johnny Walker Green label. Second one in the middle here, again started with the milk chocolate, went to the dark almonds, went to the dark chocolate again. And for this one, I have to say that the, uh, the milk chocolate rang true. It had a little bit smoother, this Johnny Walker, if you had it before, a little bit of bite to it as it comes through, some of those nice uh, Scott flavors, a little more than the bourbons that are, and the rice are selected on here. And the milk chocolate, again, nice smoothness, kind of helped round out that flavor that we're working with. And you know, have you ever sat around for dessert, something else, restaurant, you can get a little chocolate fudge there, a little uh, after dinner cordial. I'm sure you've had a, some sort of parameters before with chocolate somewhere uh, working through it. Okay. Um, I'm going to agree with Ben on this. I did not like the contrast from the bitterness and the almonds and the chocolate with the blended whiskey. Um, I didn't like it at all. It seemed to be a complete contrast with one another. But the creaminess of the milk chocolate and blended in very well with the flavors and kind of accentuated some of the sweetness that you can pick up in that blended whiskey. So that was really nice. One more whiskey to go, and we will have this wrapped up for chocolate day. Yeah. And so, you know, chocolate, as I go and start in here, dark real quick, and just about, and jump between maybe. Okay. Well, now we're moving on to the single barrel. Mm -hmm. This is 120 proof, so um, I suspect that it's going to ring through all the chocolate that we have, but. Yeah, so far, the, the first set there was a little bit of a kick there. You notice we have some water to kind of help cleanse the palate between these three as we work with them. Hmm. Yeah, so I was tasting it again, just going through. Um, kind of interesting thing, a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate as you go with them or have them, usually a dark chocolate is a little, little harder, a um, little crunchier milk chocolate. Um, as the saying goes, melts in your mouth, not in your hand sometimes, but uh, that one is a, uh, uh, again, the one that came through with this uh, 120 Knob Creek uh, single barrel, it melted down a little bit more and came through for the first one I liked on it, and then from there I went dark chocolate and almonds at the very end of it for, for the tasting profiles on it. 
But I was surprised. I would have thought the uh, the young ones would have helped through more for me on uh, on all three of those. Hmm. Well, <clears throat> now that I've completed mine, I like the dark chocolate again. Was my favorite pairing with this particular whiskey with 120 proof. The accentuated heat with the bitterness of the hot chocolate for me was a really nice combination. I liked the texture of the milk chocolate. Obviously, it melted really fast, you know, mm -hmm. especially with the, the alcohol in my mouth. But um, it was uh, it was still too cloyingly sweet for me. So I preferred the dark chocolate on that particular one. Gotcha. See, I don't know if the sweetness kind of cut through with that hard bite. But for my overall, what I'm going to pick here today is I think Templeton one for me with the almonds. Um, honestly, surprisingly followed up by Johnny Walker and the milk chocolate that went there, and then this one, this to me was a little harsh for drinking with uh, an easy going chocolate. What it means is maybe a lower alcohol content might be a better pairing with the chocolate. Yeah. That's what we've learned here. Yourself? Uh, my favorite was the dark chocolate and the rye. Okay. I, I love those flavors together, and I really enjoyed that a lot, so that was perfect. So, that's our show for today. Just wanted to go through a little bit of chocolate for uh, Chocolate Day here July 7th, and join us next time.